We're now a couple of weeks into the Lenten season, which means demand for crawfish is at its highest. In this edition of Louisiana Farm Life, Twyla's Carl Wiggers takes us to Rapides Parish to meet a family working hard to supply you with your favorite Cajun crustaceans. Bill and Janice Cheek find themselves at home here on the water. I love water. It's something about water. For the last 35 years, they've earned their living on the water as rice and crawfish farmers. However, the cheeks are often drawn to water for another reason, bass fishing. I grew up fishing and hunting. Uh, and in the mid-70s, I guess, was when the bass tournaments were getting pretty popular. And so I joined the local bass club and actually won the first two tournaments that I fished. This was only the beginning for the Cheeks in professional fishing. Soon Janice joined him in the boat and they continued to win together. Billy and I fished a team tournament, um, the Numac Marine Circuit, and uh, we fished the Mystery Lake Classic. This is where we won our first boat. It didn't take long before Janice began fishing in the Lady Bass Circuit. There, she spent years collecting memories, fostering friendships, and of course, piling up these trophies. Janice was, Janice was good. She was all-time money winner whenever she did retire from fishing, in, in ladies fishing. Traveling the country, bass fishing was a dream come true for the Cheeks. However, the farm back home remained a very important part of their lives. In the crawfish ponds, what waits beneath the surface still lures the Cheeks in today. You never know what you've got on the end of your line. Well, you never know what's in that trap either. Lucky for crawfish lovers, the Cheeks find plenty of crawfish in those traps. More than luck, Cheeks says that it's his faith that's allowed him to stay in the industry. You do everything right that you're supposed to, supposed to do, and then uh, you do a lot of praying, and you just depend on nature to to run its course and, and hope that it turns out in your favor. While farmers depend on nature for their crops, consumers depend on farmers, like the Cheeks, to provide the world with food, fiber, and shelter. Not only do farmers meet these global needs, but they also have a huge impact on their local economies. Everything comes back to agriculture. You look at all of the different crops that are grown, row crops, and then rice, crawfish, and the dollars that they bring into a state, it's a ton of money. The state depends on agriculture. If the weather permits, the Cheeks will finish putting out crawfish traps next week. They plan to be in full swing filling sacks with crawfish by the second week of March. And this is now my fifth story to go out on the road and do. And guys, I've gotten to see a lot of different commodities and it's been really, really fun going across the state and seeing all the way from oysters and Grand Isle mm -hmm. to you know crawfish ponds this week. It's really, really cool. What did you learn going out with uh, the Cheeks with their uh, on crawfish farm? Well. I was expecting a pond, right? And it's only a couple of feet deep the water is, so I, was, I, I wasn't expecting the, uh, you know, just driving like a four-wheeler, what it felt like through some water, and it was not quite like a boat ride. And all those traps and everything, you don't, that's, it's a little bit different from what you normally see out on a row crop farm, because you're thinking things are shooting up, but everything's down under the water. Absolutely, it's kind of all below a tranquil surface. Well, thank you very much, Carl Wiggers. 